Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com going to show you how you can customize the control center in iOS 11. Here you'll see the control center. It's brand new for iOS 11. We have familiar controls in this top area where you can access a lot of your iPhone connectivity, your music, lock screen, and screen mirroring, as well as control the brightness and volume on your phone. What you can change now are all of these smaller icons down at the bottom. To do that, you're gonna to need to go into settings, and then from there, you're gonna tap on control center. On my screen, it's down here near the bottom, and then on customize controls. From here, you can remove or add, as well as change the order. So to remove something, all you need to do is tap the minus sign next to it. So if I don't want notes on there, you tap that minus sign, and then tap on remove, and it's moved it down to more controls. Now down here, if I want to add something, I can just tip the plus sign, and that adds it to the bottom. But you can change where that appears. So right now, voice memos is down here in the bottom right area. If I grab it, and hold and you'll see it kind of changes there and I pull it all the way up to the top. Now when I go back, it's over here in this top row on the left and I'm able to access it easier with my thumb. So you can move those around and really keep doing that until you get your control center customized exactly how you want it. Now another cool feature in control center is it supports 3D touch now. So Right here, I only see a few options for my phone connectivity, but if I push on it, I can control more items, including turning my personal hotspot on or off, controlling AirDrop, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, etc. With music, if you tap and hold, or if you should say 3D Touch, you get this little pop-out. And you can do a similar thing with brightness, and you can even toggle on night shift, phone volume. You can also adjust these just by scrolling up and down on them. And then on some of these other ones, you get some cool options, like I can control the intensity of the iPhone flashlight. I can set a timer for a certain amount of time and copy my last result from calculator, take a selfie, record video, go straight to that camera option. And I can even control smart home options right from this. There's also another cool new feature. You can start recording your iPhone screen right inside the control center. So that's really all there is to customizing the control center. You just need to remove, add, and then drag where you want the options, and you'll be able to set that up to fit your needs a little bit better than you could on iOS 10. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out a link in the description for more info on how to do this.